there! My name is Renee and this is my channel. Welcome to my curls. And you all probably know me because of all of my dog videos. From my videos about Pollux and Maxi. But do you really know me? Well, today you're going to get to. I did a video back in January, which was 25 quick and interesting facts about me, and it gave you a little bit of insight into, into who I am. But since my channel has really blown up in the past couple of months because of my dogs, I thought you might like to get to know me better. And I know you're not here for me, I know you're here for the dogs, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So here are 25 more quick and interesting facts about me, Renee. Oddly enough, I had a cat growing up. I did not have dogs, which is crazy because you all know I am a dog lover. But when I was a little kid, my parents had a black poodle named Oreo and the poodle did not like me. It stayed in my mom and dad's room. Whenever it would come out, it would growl at everybody else. And so I really had no interaction with this little poodle. And then one day I came home with a kitty cat and my parents let me keep the kitty, and I named her Kitty. And so that was my pet growing up. I never had a dog. <laughs> I love all animals, but dogs are my thing. You all know that. You've been around long enough to know that I am a dog lover, but I had a cat growing up. I absolutely hate to be cold. I hate winter, I hate cold, I hate having to be bundled up. It just makes me cold to the core and I am miserable every single moment when I am cold. If I had the choice of being freezing cold or hot and sweaty, I will always choose hot and sweaty. I hate the cold weather. I love to go to the dentist. I know so many people hate the dentist, but I love to get my teeth cleaned. It just makes me feel so good about myself when my mouth is clean and my teeth are shiny and slick. There's just something about it. I love getting my teeth cleaned and I go like clockwork every six months. And since we're talking medical, I get a flu shot every year. Now I know people have opinions about flu shots and I'll tell you, I'm a believer in flu shots. I have always gotten a flu shot every single year. There was only one year I think that I didn't get a flu shot and I don't remember what the reason was but I drag my kids every year to get a flu shot. I drag Randy to get a flu shot. Now, there were years when I literally had to drag him kicking and screaming, but he has just accepted the fact that I expect him to get a flu shot. He goes willingly now. He's a baby. He does not like needles, and so I have to hold his hand. So, not really. <laughs> He does not like needles, but he will now go. We go as a family and we get our flu shot every fall. And since I'm in my kitchen, I'll tell you, I love to cook. I absolutely love to cook. And that's why I started a cooking series called Stay Home and Cook With Me. You will find cooking videos on my channel. They're just kind of done at random depending on just when I have time to do them. But this is my kitchen and I love to cook and I'm actually a really good cook. So you all should check out some of my cooking videos. And I promise for those of you that watch the videos and you're asking me, where are the new videos? I'm working on it, I promise, more to come. Never say never, y'all. I said I would never have a dog that sheds. Well, Pollux has proved me wrong. He sheds like crazy and I love him to death. So I'm eating my words. When I said I would never have a dog that sheds, I was wrong because I now love my shedding dog. <laughs> I said, I would never have a dog that sheds until we got this dude. This is Pollux. You all know Pollux. And he sheds like you would not believe. But I love him to pieces. I'm so glad he's here. I love him. And so now, I'm used to the shedding. I don't mind the shedding. We deal with it. Right, Pollux? And it just is what it is. Curly hair runs in my family. I'm, I'm always asked, where did I get these curls? This is my natural curly hair. As far back as I can remember or anybody remembers in my family, it started with my grandfather. This is my dad's dad. So my grandfather had curly hair, my father has curly hair, my mother has straight hair. So I have the curls and my younger sister 
has curly hair. And then you all know that my two daughters have curly hair. But the funny thing is, my sister's children did not get the curls. They have stick straight hair. So go figure. But I get it from my dad's side of the family and my papa. I have lived in this house for almost 20 years. I do not like to move. I am one who puts down roots and I stay put. So we are getting ready to have our 20th anniversary in this house. So in the other video about interesting facts about me, I told you that two of my favorite foods were avocado, well, three of my favorite foods, avocados, asparagus, and roasted red pepper. And I want to tell you that some of my other favorite foods are baklava and eggplant. I love eggplant parmesan, absolutely love it, and baklava. If I ever find fresh baklava, you will see me having some. Love baklava. So you're gonna laugh at this. Randy thinks I'm crazy, but I never, turn on music in my car. Never. I like the silence. That is when I, I think I just need a moment in the car. I'm by myself and I just enjoy the silence. I never turn on music. And, and he just thinks I'm nuts. He gets in the car and if he hears a rattle in the car, if there's something jiggling, jiggling in the back seat, he tells me to turn on the music, to drown it out. I can't do it. I really need the silence. And along that same note, y'all, I never turn on the TV. Never. If the television in our house is on, it is because Randy turned it on. I do not watch the news. It is depressing. I never watch the news. And if I watch television, it is because it is a show that Randy and I both enjoy. We have it recorded on the DVR, and so at night we'll sit down and watch a lighthearted 30 to one, 30 minute to one hour show, and that's it. I'm done, I'm maxed out, but I do not turn on the television. My favorite type of vacation is sitting on the beach. I don't care where I am, as long as I'm on the beach and my toes are in the sand and I am hot and sweaty and stinky and I have the ocean in front of me. That is my favorite place in the world to be and my favorite thing to do. And lucky for me, Randy feels the same way. We can go on a beach vacation and just sit there for hours and hours and hours and days on end. The beach is my happy place. So a little bit of background on my education. I graduated from the University of Kentucky with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Advertising and Communications. You ready? I have two tattoos. I have two! Randy and I got matching tattoos when we got married and then again on our 15th wedding anniversary and we actually took Brecken with us. She was there when we got our tattoos. Randy actually has a third tattoo. I did not get that one. I told him when we hit our 30th wedding anniversary, I would get another, and then that is probably it for me. I'm not gonna show them to you. I'm not gonna tell you what they say. That's way too personal, y'all. But I just want you to know, I have two tattoos. I stopped coloring my hair in October of 2018. So it has been almost two years since I stopped coloring my hair. So this is my natural gray. I have let it just go, cold turkey, let it go gray. And I colored my hair for over 20 years. And this is one of the best decisions of my life, going gray. I came into the bedroom to tell you that when I go to sleep at night, I like it really, really cold. I love to get under the covers. I love to pull the covers up and I sleep so much better when it is cold in our house. And so yes, I like it cold at night. And the funny thing is, Maxie sleeps in his little dog bed and Randy gets so worried that Maxie is gonna get cold that Maxie has his own little dog blanket and we cover him up at night so he doesn't get chilly. We tried to get Pollux a blanket. That did not go well. He chewed it up immediately, ripped holes in it. Pollux does not need a blanket, but Maxie loves his blanket. So this is Pollux's bed. He doesn't need a blanket. And this is Maxie's little bed. This is where he sleeps. And this is his sweet little blanket that he gets covered up with every night. Maxie has his own little dog blanket with dog paws on it. So he gets in his little dog bed and we cover him with his little blanket and we tell him he's a little burrito and so Maxie doesn't get cold. But Randy and I love it cold in the house and so do my daughters. I guess they've just gotten used to it. 
Ooh, and if I eat sweets at night before I go to bed, I have horrible dreams. I don't know why this is. It doesn't happen if I eat salty foods, but if I eat sweets or sugar before I go to bed at night, I have bad dreams. I know this about myself, and so I do not do it. My favorite quote in life is, you are entirely up to you. Randy got me this t-shirt, you are entirely up to you. Years ago, he had it custom printed for me, and I, the head, the head hole was too tight. I could not get it over my head. So I took a pair of scissors and I cut a little v-neck in it, and this is one of my absolute favorite t-shirts. I wear it all the time because you are entirely up to you. You can make yourself whatever you want to be, whoever you want to be. You can live the life that you want to live, and I absolutely love that quote, and I live my life by it. You are entirely up to you. I really only have one phobia. Now, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I have one phobia, and it's vomit. I am freaked out and scared to death of vomit. Everybody who knows me and all of the kids who work for us at the ice cream shop know if somebody is going to throw up, I am going to go running in the other direction and I am going to throw up. I cannot handle it. I can't hear it. I can't be around it. I can't see it. I can't know what's happening. If we're watching a TV show and somebody throws up, I cover my head like I cannot. It is a true phobia. And when Randy and I got married and the girls were little, we made a pact. This is 20 something years ago. I agreed to handle every dirty, stinky, poopy, stinky, yucky diaper that those girls had and the dogs. I handle all the poop from everybody in the house if he will take care of the girls and the dogs when they are sick and they throw up. I can't do it. I know that's not very momish of me, but y'all, I just can't do it. I cannot handle vomit. <laughs> my biggest pet peeve in life, oh my gosh, when other people are unwilling to help themselves, it drives me crazy. People want to complain and complain and complain about whatever it is, and there is a clear out, a clear solution, an easy answer, something that they could do to fix their problem, but they are unwilling to do it, unwilling to help themselves. That is my biggest pet peeve. Oh, and my favorite color is green. If y'all have watched any of my videos, you know my favorite color is green. I look good in green. I have green eyes. I don't know. My closet is filled with green. Anytime I go shopping, I gravitate toward green. I have to tell myself, stop buying green clothes. I just, I love it. Military green, Kelly green, just, I don't care for mint green. That's not my color. Eh. But any kind of green, love green. And it could be just because of my skin tone. I don't know. But we used to have green walls in our living room. We had a version of green throughout our house, which is now gone. I got tired of it, honestly. But I just love green. It's my favorite color. So y'all know I have Maxi and Pollux. And in the past, at one point, we actually had three miniature schnauzers. At one time, three miniature schnauzers. And I would actually have more dogs right now if I could. The issue, I don't mind taking care of them. I don't mind them running all over our house. I don't mind feeding them and medicating them and taking care of them. I absolutely love my dogs. The issue is we travel. We like to go, we like to do, and we go on trips. And so we are actually taking Maxie and Pollux with us on two upcoming trips. One is a, is a trip that we're taking by car, and another, we are flying out of the country, and we are taking the dogs. And I just, I don't like to board my dogs. I don't leave them with friends or, or family. They're either going to go with me or I'm not going to go. And so I just don't think that I can handle more than two dogs with our traveling. But if I could, I would have, I would have four dogs. Speaking of, they heard me talking about them. Maxie's going to bark. But I would probably have three or four dogs always at any given time if I could. See? See? Dogs. I do mind the dog barking. 
Maxie barks at everything he sees out of the window. And it's funny because somebody commented on a video about him, about how nice it was that I had a schnauzer that never barked. Oh my gosh, y'all are so wrong. He barks all day long. He just sits in the window and chirps and howls and barks at every car, every squirrel, any person who walks by, he just chirps and barks. And he'll do it until he hears me walking in his direction, then he jumps back up on the couch and zips it. And Pollux just looks like, what? What, what are you barking at? He, he never gets it. Maxie chirps all day long. Mm. For probably more than 15 years, I straightened my hair. And I'm not even going to dig out all the old pictures. But I used all kinds of methods, chemical perm solution, Brazilian blowout, the big brush, all these things to straighten my hair because I did not know how to handle my curly hair. Well, once I had kids and I was 30, I said, no more, and I have not straightened my hair, and I will never, and I can say never is never this time because I know this, I will never straighten my hair again. I have accepted the fact that I have curly hair. I've learned how to deal with the curls. I actually like myself with curly hair now, and I will never straighten my hair again. So if you all ever see a video pop up on my channel where I say I'm going to straighten my hair or I straightened my hair, somebody come hit me over the head because something is wrong. I have lost my mind. I will never straighten my hair again. And y'all, this next one, I feel bad saying this out loud. I really do, but I'm going to say it because if you are my age or older, I think you might understand. If you're younger than me, you're probably not going to get this. But I have two daughters. One daughter is a senior in college. She's gone. My youngest daughter is getting ready to leave for her freshman year of college. Um, and I am actually looking forward to being an empty nester. Now, don't take me wrong. I, I miss my girls. I'm going to miss my girls. I'm going to see them often. I talk to my daughter that's gone every day. Believe me, I love them. I'm, I love them and I miss them. But there is just something about the idea of having me, my time, me time, time with my husband, being able to do what I want to do when I want to do it without having to consider my children's needs and wants at that moment. Who's going to be here for dinner? What, you know, who all am I feeding? Are they going to have friends over? Are they going to take off at the last minute and not be here? Then I've cooked all this food. Do I have their laundry to wash? Do, is, do I need to pick up their bedroom? Where do they need to be? What is their schedule? Like all of those things are gone and I am looking forward to it. Y'all. <laughs> This is a glimpse into my daughter's dorm preparation room. Look at all of this stuff. She leaves in two and a half weeks for college. This is going to be a whole video in itself. Moving into her dorm room at UK. Hoo wee. Right, Pollux. And the last thing I want to tell you, this is the end of the list, guys, but I want you to know this is so important. It is ingrained in me, and I want to tell you, I love being a Southern gal and living in the country and living in a small town. I love it. When I graduated from high school, the first thing I did was move away from here. I went to college. Every kid wants to be somewhere that they're not. They think wherever they grew up is just, bleh. they want to go somewhere else, and so they move away. And I did that. I went to college in the big city. After that, I lived in two really big cities in other parts of the country, and I spent my time, and I did my thing, and I quickly learned that I did not love it. I'm a small town girl that loves the South. I love my little hometown. I love being here where I grew up. I love going to the grocery and seeing people that I know and saying hi and just the Southern hospitality, the Southern way. Everybody is friendly and living in a small town is so, so nice and a Southern small town at that. And I did a video about Randy and I going on a date night. And I asked you all if you would be interested in seeing 
more of my little small town. And oh my goodness, so many of you all said yes. You want me to show you around my little town of Paducah in Western Kentucky. So that is happening. That is happening, y'all. I'm making plans. I have so much to share with you about Paducah in Western Kentucky. By the time you see this video, I will already have a video out. But I take you to Kentucky Lake. I spend the day on a boat out in the lake, and y'all, it is so much fun. If you have never been to Kentucky Lake, it is something you must do once in a lifetime. Come down, go boating, go camping, spend the day on the lake, spend a weekend, spend a week. There is so much to do on Kentucky Lake. So I have a whole video about my day boating on the lake, but more videos coming up about where Randy and I love to eat, the little teeny local restaurants, the hole in the walls, the places we like to go, the places we like to shop, things we like to do, and so many great things about Paducah and Western Kentucky. So that is coming up. But thank you all for joining me today on my video about 25 more interesting facts about me. I bet you didn't know all that stuff. I know you want to know about the dogs, but I want you to know about me, and I'm glad that you're here. Now that we know each other a little bit better, tell me something about you. Comment below and let me know a super interesting fact about you because I would love to get to know you better. So until next time, I'll see you later.